sitting down in the wheel well. Okay, everybody. Um, so I just locked the diff in my um, lawnmower, the little Craftsman uh, LT1000. You see it over there? I just locked the diff because I was sick and tired of getting mud slung um, in my face with one tire. If it's, if I want, if it, if it's gonna sling mud, I want it to spin both tires. So this is kind of where I did it because I didn't know what was coming out, what was gonna come out of it, oil or grease. Um, grease came out of it, well, is in it, didn't come out of it, um, but I used my little Hover Freight $100 welder, um, and I welded up the spider gears, they're all pictures, I don't know, at this point, if you have seen them or have not, um, but, so, in there, you can see, I did, I did, uh, fearless fronts kind of method, um, where you just weld the spider gear right there, that one, uh, to that shaft in there. Um, and everything is good. Everything spins. And, um, it, um, just wash my hands. It is a locker. It's not moving nowhere. Um, like I said, there are pictures. So, uh, one thing, the, the main thing that I was worried about when I hooked, when I was doing this or before I did it, was where the little ball and spring go that nobody ever tells you about. Everybody says, oh, you got to make sure um, that the spring and ball go back. And that's where they end that. I'm like, where do they go? Do they go over there? Do they go over there? Where the heck do they go? So figured it out they go which I don't I didn't figure it out but they go in these little ball grooves um, you see right there I there's only one ball because I lost the other one but it's just gonna help shift a little easier oh it's gonna shift a little easier but there's a spring there you go. that one doesn't come out I don't I can't get it to come out so uh, I don't know but you see the other hole it is completely through that's where this little ball and spring go. So this is the cap that goes on top of here. At least on my Spicer LT1000 transmission. This little cap, you take it off with this little bolt right here, little eight millimeter. And then one of these will come out, a little spring. And then you slip your ball in there put your spring over it and then you put the uh, cap on uh, the other one if you didn't lose yours like I did that would go right there but you can see I can't get that out so I don't know I just I'm just leaving it in there uh, don't really want to I don't like leaving things in places that they don't really belong oh there it goes okay it just gets good thing I uh, did that or else that would have fell in my built brand new brand new built yeah no no so there's two there one two and then all the way around I kind of did a little crisscross pattern just went up and I did these two um, make sure you get these two um, I stripped one right you can see the paper towel stripped it right there these two I actually had to drill out but I only had to drill out the head, and then I was able to very easily get it with vice grips. You go. It is, like right, th right there. Um, so yeah, just make sure you get all the nuts and bolts off and stuff. Um, on my transmission, they were all on the top. The only reason I missed these two, um, well, because the pulley was on, and I thought that I didn't need to take the pulley off. So it's locked. I'm gonna put it back together. Um, and see if it's gonna last a long time. Okay, so it's the next day from uh, locking the trans transaxle, because that's what that is, not transmission. Um, and one thing I will say when you 
um, I'll put in one of these back together and the case won't go on very well it'll kind of like teeter-totter um, you'll be able to push front down and then not the rear and then the rear down um, on every one of those bushings in there um, at least on every one except I couldn't I couldn't find one on the brake caliper right there um, where the bushing is in there um, there's a there's the round bushing and then there's a little there's a little piece that comes off right at the 90 degree of the bushing it's kind of like it would obviously be round but it's kind of like this you know instead of being a straight you know round bearing with the 90 it's kind of like you know that and then it's got a corresponding uh notch in the case um you can just feel around instead of it being a sharp corner it'll be like that where that little notch will set into um like i said i found one on um pretty much every one of them so um just make sure you did that do that and once you do um it's very simple the case just drops on there and it works great another thing is if you do what i did and snap off a bolt see that's not the original one it's a phillips head um you can get quarter by 20 um half inch or three quarter inch um what are they called machine screws the phillips which you so because you can't get the uh um hex heads but everything works great um i am locked um there probably will be a few videos coming soon with it but i'm locked and i've took it through a few little stuff like this ditch over here um we've kind of been making this a little bit too big of a mud hole but uh yeah you can see my tracks where i dug holes and every time i went up here you could see it was spinning all the way up and stuff so yeah um i hope it walks for a very long time and um oh yeah and obviously the trail hitch i welded that up it's just a piece of steel and then a piece of angle iron i welded this on um so and then i welded a belt keeper i didn't have a belt keeper on there now i do but the main the main goal with the belt keeper is to be able to pull off your belt and uh, be able to put it back on um more than likely it's not really going to do that it's like a quarter a little bit more than a quarter of an inch in there um but yeah everything's working good um, it shifts probably nicer than it did. I had to put these little bolts on each side because this thing would just come popping up and that was really annoying now we'd shift. So yeah, it's all working great. And um, let's go try it out in the ditch. Turn your fuel on if you're like me and you culvert it might overflow. Yeah, I'm uh, fully locked. I can now drift, which is kind of insane. Um, at, it used to, what it do is it would come over here. Just watch this thing. It would come over here and do that and lift that tire off the ground. And then that tire would just spin. And then you lose all your momentum. So, yeah, I'm fully locked. Um, I'm hoping it's going to last, like, like I said, a long time. Um, but that's all for this video. Um, hopefully we'll be going for a ride a little bit later, so yeah, see you later.